Number 46, Fair Jaca. Yet another French thing I am not going to slaughter. So um, we are dealing with the D string a bunch, a little bit of the A string with some eighth notes, but then we have a note on the G string. So it's first finger on the G, open G, then first finger, we go to A, second finger is B, third finger C, which we're gonna study that in a few more pages. So uh, it's just that first finger. So we're doing open D, A, D at the very end. So this is the, for us Americans or folks who don't speak <laughs> French, it's are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, brother John? And use that fourth finger so that we can stay on that same uh, string. And then we're going over to the A string, one and two and three, four. So spend some time with that, um, going quickly over to the D string. Half, 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 half. So let's say the notes first. Ready, say. D, E, F, D. D, E, F, D. F, G, A. F, G, A. A, B, A, G, F, D. A, B, A, G, F, D. D, A, D. D, A, D. Good, let's pluck. One, two, ready, go. piece of advice I would like to give you um, at the end of line one when we're playing that half note and about to go into those eighth notes I subdivide subdividing is gonna be your best friend so the F G eight and three and three three and four and one and two and three so during that um, half note I'm saying three and four and one and so I'm ready to go into those eighth notes. Subdividing helps you to hold the note long enough and helps you to be prepared for those eighth notes that are about to be there. So subdivide in your head. Your head should not be silent or thinking about dinner or whatever. I always think about food, but I'm constantly subdividing in there and I'm thinking about my next note or what my bow is doing. So it's a lot of hard work. Keep it up.